Uncle Roll Clip. Let's let's stick with money here a little bit. What are some of the like best money habits? What would you say? Well, I would say that first of all, don't always think how you don't have money, because that's what you attract. Like you were talking about attraction, and uh, be, a lot of people are like, yeah, this is what I earn, and I need to save, and this is expensive. I I I don't say these words anymore. And I mean, I was born at. I would tell you, like you, if you met me a year ago, I was dirt cheap I'd be buying everything on sale and I was that was who I that's who I was that's how I was raised and that's that's the first mistake because if you think about it all the time that's what universe sends you if you think you have no money it's you'll have no money at all but and then there was this whole paradigm shift for me where I went from you know, earning I was earning 30,000 a year for years now haven't moved and then I, I started um, I started all studying all this changed my paradigm started earning more but don't that's that's my one piece of advice don't always come from a place of lack because everyone can have money like if you think of jeff bezos like there's this guy is like it's unrealistic how how much money this guy has and look there's it's all mindset like you can have maybe not as much as jeff bezos but you, we can all have a comfortable life it's just a thing of mindset and again look there is all great tips about look budget you know spend spend uh you know, like have a budget which you're about with your like income and like where your expenses go. But another thing that I would suggest is get educated on how the money works and where to invest it. That's the biggest piece of advice because I had my saving account in the bank here in Ireland. And I remember like, by the end of the year, I had it for a year. There was like nearly 3000 euros on that saving account. And my, I, I got five euros in, in interest. So I basically lost money. Like when you when you take out the inflation, which is one to two percent a year, I basically lost money for holding my saving money in the bank. And that's where I said, okay, I'm closing my saving account. What is it? Sorry for interrupting there, but then you got the letter end of the year because of 2020 that interest rates are going from 0.1 percent to zero. So well, you're basically it's actually minus now, I believe. It's like minus it's negative. Or? Yeah, it's negative interest now. Yeah, which is crazy. Look. And I think a lot of people, like I started investing in stocks back in April and I've been doing phenomenal, but I actually, I'm kind of doing it part time. And I also started Forex now, but I think so many people, like we are uneducated about money. And that's because schools don't teach you. You can have a degree, you can have a master's degree in, in economics and not know how to earn money. And people, I don't know, like if I, when I told my dad that I, I started investing in stocks, he was like, oh, geez, what, what is this? Like, why are you doing that? Yeah. So obviously I got disappointed once I got my, uh, my money from the, once I got my statement from my saving account that I was disappointed with five euros on, on 3000 in the saving account. And I said, okay, straight away, I closed it. I didn't want to hear about it. And I, I heard about, like, I was, I was uh, researching about stocks for years, but my mind at that time thought it's only for rich people. It's only for rich business people. Not everyone can invest. And then a friend of mine told me about Revolut. I don't know, like, are you using it? Yeah. It's a free app, download it on your phone, and you can invest stocks there. And I said, okay, I'll leave it a try. But obviously, I didn't want to say this to anyone. Like, it wouldn't make sense to tell this, tell my parents about it if I lost money. But what I did is within a week, I made some huge profits. Like, it was probably, I was a bit lucky, a bit beginner's luck. I invested in Tesla uh, back mm -hmm. in April. And, it was great. I made huge money. I was happy. I, I told my parents about it. And my dad thought, oh, geez, what is this guy doing? Like, why, is, why are you investing in stocks and this and that? And then when I told him about what is it like to invest in, what is it like to save your money in the bank compared to investing your money in something else? Like, it doesn't have to be stocks. There's bonds. There's all these other things. If, if you think about it, like, keeping your money in the bank is the worst way to go about it. And look, if some people don't even have enough money to put aside, that's a bit sad. That's again, that's the mindset part, which they need to work on really hard. But if you do, I would suggest investing into something. There doesn't have to be individual stocks. There's a lot of exchange tracked funds. There are ETFs. A lot of brokers do them now. And it's like literally between seven and 10% a year return. And it's like literally safest thing you can do with, with, with your money. Like I, I do, I mean, I, I put more time and effort into it. And I learned a lot about it. So I do kind of do it more actively. It's bigger returns. It's also bigger risk. But if even if you don't want to do that, just find a broker that has a very low fees and just reinvest every month, 
leave 50, 100 euros or more if you can and put it into exchange track funds and you'll be surprised how it builds up throughout the years. But Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.